When she was 17 years old, Sarah Cruzan was sentenced to life in prison without parole for killing the man who had sexually abused and sex trafficked her for more than five years. But during her trial, details of the abuse were not allowed in court. After nearly 20 years behind bars, she was, he was released, and now she, or she was released, and now she's an advocate for juvenile offenders. Du Petromel reports. By the age of 13, I was being sold. For Sarah Cruzan, childhood was full of pain and abuse. You don't realize what's happening. She was sexually molested and prostituted by a family friend for years until the day she shot him dead. I had a two and a half day trial. In a video interview, Cruzan explained that during the trial, the judge would not allow evidence of the abuse as part of her defense. I was sentenced to life without the possibility of parole plus four years. She ended up serving nearly 20 years in prison before the governor of California granted her release. Arkansas Congressman Bruce Westerman heard about Cruzan's story. Very uh, compelling story. Uh, I don't think justice was done in her case. Westerman decided to take action. He recently filed a bill giving federal judges more flexibility to consider previous abuse when sentencing juvenile defendants. They shouldn't be punished again by the, the justice system when they, they're using whatever is at their means to get away from the person who is abusing them. Westerman also filed bills to make juveniles ineligible for a sentence of life without parole and allow judges to reduce mandatory minimum sentences in cases like Cruzan's. I felt really terrible about myself for a long time. But Cruzan has found her voice. She now works as an advocate advocate for parolees, helping them navigate their new lives on the outside. You can find the smile of joy in some of the most desperate situations. In Washington, Drew Petromo, Jet 24 Action News.